Welcome to our channel, my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the very important topic that is electrochemical cell. And electrochemical cell, the entire topic, it is a very, very important topic in uh, electrochemistry. So here the electrochemical cell, what is the function of electrochemical cell will do? The chemical energy can be converted into electrical energy. That means due to one chemical reaction, there will be a production of electrical energy that is called electrochemical cell. Okay. In which uh, before we, this is a construction of a electrochemical cell in which we are taking one anode and one cathode here. Okay. And here you suppose the zinc rod will be acting as anode and copper will be acting as cathode. Okay, right. And here uh, the zinc rod which will be immersed in the solution of zinc sulfate, copper rod will be immersed in the solution of copper sulfate. Okay, so why we uh, immerse this, I will explain you. And uh, here we used, uh, the two solutions are interconnected, are connected with the use of uh, u-shaped tube that is called the salt bridge okay and here before we going to get into the topic we must understand some fundamental things which are present in electrochemical cells so before that uh, let us discuss what is anode anode it's a kind of a electrode anode is a kind of electrode at which the oxidation reaction will be taking place oxidation reaction will be taking place what is oxidation Oxidation is nothing but there will be a loss of electron in electrochemistry. In electrochemistry, according to electrochemistry, anode, anode is nothing but the oxidation reaction will be taking place. There will be a loss of electron. Okay, you will understand. And next one is a cathode. There will be a reduction reaction will be taking place. That means cathode will be a reduction reaction. And uh, there will be an acceptance of electrons or gain of electrons will be taking place at cathodic region. Okay, that is what the cathode will do. So cathode reduction reaction will taking place. And next one is uh, electrolyte. What is electrolyte? They are uh, substances which are water soluble. They produce ions and they are responsible for the conduction. Okay, so here they conduct the electricity. Are you able to understand? That is what the electrolyte will take in place. Here will be a strong electrolyte, weak electrolyte, non electrolyte, many types of electrolytes are there. And here a half cell. What is a half cell? So here this setup. So this uh, one uh, beaker will consist of one electrode and one electrolyte. This will be called as half cell. You will understand the total setup will be called as a cell. So the combination of two half cells will produce a cell. So what are the components of a half cells? So the half cell should consist of an electrode that should be immersed in, L, uh, in its own salt solution. Anybody understand? So here zinc rod will be taken as anode and zinc sulfate solution will be taken as electrolyte. The zinc rod will be immersed in the solution of zinc sulfate. Anybody understand? That will give a half cell. If suppose there will be a loss of electron will be taking place, that means that half cell will be called as the oxidation of cell. Suppose the gain of electrons will be taking place, that half cell will be called as a reduction of cell. Are you able to understand? If you combine with these two, okay, if you are combining with these two through an external wire, that will produce as potential. That is a, that produces the potential difference. That is will be in, extracted in the form of electrical energy. You are able to understand? So here, uh, I will explain you how the electrochemical cells are working here. Okay, are you able to understand? Well, now you know the concept of an anode, cathode, electrolyte, half cell, and cell, and battery. What is a battery? Battery is nothing but the number of anodes and number of cathodes are interconnected in a serious manner will be giving a battery. Are you able to understand? Next, we are going to talk about the working of electrochemical cell. The electrochemical cell, how it will work. Let us see. So here, anode will be taken. That will be immersed in electrolytes like zinc sulfate. The anode will be taken as zinc. Here, zinc will be acting as anode. And uh, that will be immersed in zinc sulfate. Do you understand? Right. So here, 
zinc goes into the solution as is the ten two plus because uh, because it undergoes oxidation. This undergoes reduction because anode oxidation reaction will be taking place. Cathode reduction reaction will be taking place. Are you able to understand? So here the you, as you consider the zinc dissolves in the solution as is it ten two plus. Okay, that means at anode. Anode. What kind of reaction is taking place? Zinc will goes into the solution as is it ten two plus with the loss of two electrons. Okay, the two electrons will be carried by the wire where it can go. So it can go and conduct the reduction reaction at cathode. Do you understand? So here at cathode, what type of reaction is taking place? So at cathode. Okay, cathode. There will be a, a electrons will be accepted. That is two electrons. These two electrons coming out from the anodic region, which will be accepted by copper two plus ions to become copper. That means so this copper sulfate solution will contain copper two plus and SO four two minus ions. Are you able to understand? Likewise, the zinc uh, solution also contains zinc sul zinc uh, two plus and SO four two minus ions. Are you able to understand? So here you just look at this electrons will be coming and incoming electron will accepted by this copper two plus to become copper. So after a certain period of time, the zinc rod will getting reduces. That means the mass of zinc rod will getting reduces. At the same time, the copper rod will getting increases. This is due to the What is that uh, electrochemical reaction? Are you able to understand? The copper two plus from the solution will accept the two electrons coming out from the anodic region to become copper. Are you able to understand? This is very much important. Are you able to understand? This is what it, is, it plays a very very important role. Okay. So here uh, the overall reaction. If you look at, well, let us see the overall reaction. So here at which anodic reaction? That is zinc. Goes into the solution as is it ten two plus with the loss of two electrons. The two electrons coming out from the anodic region that can be accepted by copper two plus from the solution, which forms copper as a product. Overall reaction, if you look at two electron, two electron cancel, then zinc plus Cu two plus will gives is it ten two plus plus copper. The overall reaction, if you look at the zinc, will undergoes oxidation. The copper will undergoes reduction. Or if you understand, that is what this reaction is called the redox reaction. Or if you understand, this is what this reaction is called the redox reaction. We know the working of uh, electrochemical cell, but now we should understand why we use the salt bridge to connect these two solutions. Okay. So we need to understand the importance of salt bridge in electrochemical cell. Let us discuss how it plays an important role. Okay, so here the salt bridge will be taken. It is a kind of it is nothing but it is a U-shaped, U-shaped tube, U-shaped tube that should be in inverted manner. Okay, so it may be called as an inverted U-shaped tube. Okay. Which consists of some chemicals. Let us discuss why the chemicals should be used inside it. Okay, let us discuss the zinc sulfate will be dissociated as Zn two plus and SO four two minus, and copper two copper sulfate solution CuSO four uh, because that will be taken as here uh, copper will be there and copper sulfate zinc will be there zinc sulfate. Okay, like uh, so here uh, after dissociation, if suppose. Uh, the zinc will undergo oxidation. Will we get the zinc two plus ions? We we'll get more number of zinc than two plus ions. The two electrons will go and uh, conduct the reduction reaction or cathodic reaction. The copper two plus from the solution will accept the two electrons coming out from the anode to form copper as a product. This is the working, simple working. But suppose. If you are not using, suppose you just look at now. Here, what happened now? Uh, number of is it in two plus? So suppose if I am taking is it in SO four? Okay. So is it in two plus plus SO four two minus? Suppose if I am taking five moles. 
which consists of 5 moles of ezetan 2 plus plus 5 moles of SO4 2 minus that should be there okay but here the zinc rod is getting dissolved in it that is what some moles 6 moles of ezetan 2 plus will come into the solution for able to understand now the solution will attain positive charge extra positive charge suppose we are having uh, the same 5 SO4 2 minus is there so 5 so 5 moles of SO4 2 minus and uh, 6 moles of uh, zinc 2 plus ions. now you can consider so there will be a now it is not to be neutral one okay so I got positively charged in solution they would understand at the same time the electrode will got negative charge they will understand because the last electron will go through this only that is what the electrode will got negative charge are able to understand and next we coming to this part cathodic part what happened so here the copper 2 plus will be accepted and goes into uh, settled as copper so here also the same thing Cu2 plus and SO4 2 minus will not be same because now the copper 2 plus number is getting decreases that's what suppose if I am taking initially 5 5 so now it will be 4 only, 4 Cu2 plus only and 5 SO4 2 minus is there. Here also that will be a not neutral one. Okay. So here the solution got negative charge. At the same time the electrode got positive charge. Are you able to understand? This is what very very important. This is what very very important. Are you able to understand? So here suppose if I am taking zinc 2 plus we are getting this out. That's what the zinc 2 plus ions number is getting increases once its number is getting increases the solution will become a positive one so here the copper 2 plus will be accepted that means the two electron coming out from the anodic region to form and accept the copper 2 plus to form copper as a product that is what the copper 2 plus number is getting decreases here that is what the SO4 2 minus number will be same so here if you compare these two, so this will be a neutral one, but this is not neutral. This negative charge will be more. That's what the solution attire, negative charge. Are you able to understand? This is what it plays a very important role. Now you just look at, suppose if these kind of uh, unneutral, that is a not neutral case. Okay, this is not a neutral case now. Okay, now this positive ions, that is zinc 2 plus ions, will go and form here. Okay, now you can just uh, you can come in here so here uh, i got positive charge okay at the same time here so4 2 minus will be more okay the negative ions will go and here and it forms a negative charge and these positive and negative will form a potential new potential new potential which is called junction potential or you able to understand junction potential that is called liquid junction potential or you able to understand so here to maintain its neutrality so we so to maintain neutrality the zinc 2 plus because the zinc 2 plus ions will be more here the zinc 2 plus will automatically move to this u shaped tube where it can create a positive charge and this negative charge, excess negative charge will go and approach the same thing where it can create negative charge. These positive and negative charge will produce a potential, new potential that is called junction potential, which is called liquid junction potential. Are you able to understand? Okay. Now, so we need to avoid these kind of reactions. That is what I will be taken. So here I will be taken what kind of things? it will be converted as zinc 2 plus and i will be taken uh, in salt bridge now i will be writing a salt bridge i think so you understand very well about that uh, uh, liquid junction potential now you just listen suppose if i am taking kcl kcl why i am taking kcl that particularly a saturated kcl why have to take a saturated kcl what does it mean by saturation that is the, apart from that particular concentration after which whatever I added so there, will, there is no increase of concentration okay say for example if I go for uh, any food festival okay I will be eating lot and lot okay after a certain stage I can say no no it is 
comfortable for me. So my uh, stomach is completely filled. Okay, that stair is called saturated stair. That means if I add the KCL, if I add KCL in water, so at a certain stage it will get dissolved. Suppose if I add in 5 gram of KCL, it getting dissolved. 6 gram, 7th gram, 8th gram, 9th gram if I add, suppose if I am taking example, suppose 10th gram if I added that, so which will not be getting dissolved, which will be crystallized out. Okay, that is what that state is called saturated state. So I have to take a saturated KCL, saturated KCL, or otherwise I can take KNO3, or otherwise I can take ammonium chloride. Okay, ammonium chloride. These are all inert electrolytes. Why it will be inert? So these electrolytes will not be react with this solutions. Okay, like I'll explain you. So here saturated case is I have to take. Why I have to say saturated case? Suppose if uh, number of ions will be more, number of ions will be more, the time the zinc to two plus will go up and clear the potential. Okay, I need to avoid that. So here KCl is there. You just listen. So here. Zinc 2 plus, it's a positive charge, am I right? Now, the negative charge from the KCl, that is Cl minus, will flow to the solution. Okay, from the salt bridge, the Cl minus ion will flow to the solution to attain neutrality of the solution. To maintain a neutrality of the solution, the Cl minus will automatically move and which forms is it in Cl2. It is completely soluble. Completely soluble in water that also will produce ions. That is what there is, it will be called as an inert. And here, copper sulfate. So, here, copper sulfate is there, and you just look at uh, Cl minus will go off. Now, then in this case, for that, here, uh, how many number of SO4 2 minus ion will be more because the copper 2 plus will go as copper. Okay, and the SO4 2 minus ion will be more. That SO4 2 minus ion is a negative charge. So that negative charge SO4 2 minus will go to avoid this. K plus will automatically flow to the solution to form K2 SO4. This is also water soluble. Okay. Are you able to understand? So this is the use of salt bridge. Are you able to understand what I have to, why I have to use salt bridge? It is used to eliminate. Okay. Uh, let us discuss what is the use of salt bridge. Use of salt bridge. So here the first thing is it maintains maintains electrical neutrality neutrality between the solution two solutions. Okay. Two solutions electrical neutrality can be maintained by salt bridge with the release of Cl minus and K plus to the respective ends. Okay, and second thing is it eliminates it eliminates liquid junction potential. Are you able to understand? So, what is that liquid junction potential? You know very well about that. Suppose if I am not using KCLR. This uh, ZN2 plus ions will go and approach and create a positive charge here. And SO4 2 minus will go and approach to form a negative charge. These positive and negative will form a potential. That is called liquid junction potential. If I use the KCL, this junction potential, that liquid junction for new potential will be created, will be eliminated. Okay. That is called, what is that? Called? So use of salt bridge. Be able to understand? I think so you understand very well. Thank you so much for watching. Please go forward to others to get benefit. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.